Hey guys, so th I guess this will be part one of the 125 gallon tank that's going to be happening. So I'm going to take you through all the steps. Who knows how many shows it'll be. Maybe eight, maybe ten. But anyway, today we start with the 28 gallon nano cube. Uh, this was my first reef aquarium, if you will. And I use this for my hospital tank. I'm going to quarantine the blue tang or whatever fish I get today for uh, two weeks in copper solution. Um, by that time, the new tank will be here. And then I can set it all up, which you'll see, and uh, put all the fish in there together. The reason why I'm kind of rushing to do this now is because I want to have the dates rendezvous with each other. If I don't do this and I wait to put the blue tang in after I get the new tank settled with my current guys in it, I don't want to run the chance of the yellow tang attacking the blue one or any new fish. Um, yellow tangs, any tang really, but especially the yellows, can be territorial, and I don't want that to happen. So I want them to all enter the tank at the same time in a new environment, and they'll be less of an issue. I'm going to take you downstairs now and I'm going to show you the stud work and uh, where I'm planning on putting this tank. I'll probably put the 125 here and put this couch here or put the 125 here and the couch against the window. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. And not here even if I could and I'll show you right now why. This is where the tank is currently, the 75. I don't know if you can hear the pump from the Vortec going, but I'm standing in the same place as I was. Here's the joists, okay? The tank runs from left to right with the joists. From all the reading I've done, the tank should be running perpendicular to the joists. Why? Because the weight will be evenly distributed on the joists. Right now, it's going from left to right, and I believe, even though it's against the uh, foundation, the concrete wall, behind this drywall. It's only on one joist, maybe two. Now, this is where the couch is, right above this, which is why I'm thinking about putting the 125 here, because when it's filled, it's gonna be about, about 1,500 pounds. So, it'll be going across one, two, three, four, five, six joists. And then there's an I-beam right here, not running the length of the house, but there is a metal post at the end of this I-beam behind the wall. So I'll be fine. I'm sure there's tanks that are held with less. Um, I'm not crazy about doing my music and video production right underneath 1,500 pounds, <laughs> but you know, it'll be fine. I picked up today two new fish, a little blue tang, this guy's gorgeous, and a coal tang, he's hiding out, he's not coming out, he was out but now he's not. This guy's doing really well, he's eating, at first he was, I got some pellets on the ground. They're not going after those, but he is going after the shrimp that you see floating around. I uh, bought this guy sight unseen because I trust the new reef store that I'm going to. The guys are outstanding over there. And I saw him for the first time today. I saw my name on the glass, hold for Steve. And I'm like, wow, that guy, is, that guy is amazing. He's the best blue tang I've ever seen. Even though he's put through a rigorous quarantine at the new reef place that I'm going to, the new reef store, fish store, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to do it just in case. Oh, this is a nice shot of him. Because I'm not going to risk any ick coming into my brand new 125 gallon tank that I'm going to be picking up next weekend. There's no way. I know I already posted my Saturday video, but I wanted to give you guys a quick update as to what's going on. This is step one 